Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Vanessa Vidato about FBI International on the CBS. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's exciting. I think one of the coolest things about shows like FBI, Vanessa, is the fact that it's kind of a tag team where, you know, we have the action, we have the actual tasks at hand with the, basically the FBI agents and everything kind of figuring out, but we also have a lot of the drama as well. What's your mindset going into a project like this, knowing you have a tag team of like the drama and the action task at hand component? Just roll with it. Yeah. I mean, we're literally <laughs> learning as we're going. And, you know, I'm still new to this game, but I'm down for it all. Yep. So any chance, you know, we have stunt rehearsal or practice with the armory or time where I can go off by myself and do some shooting at the at the range or workout or whatever, um, take some boxing lessons yep. with the stunts, um, I'll do it. And I, I'm I'm here for it because... This is a great experience for me in terms of, you know, a person, just being a person, but also an actor. It's, I, I think I hit jackpot. This is, I'm so grateful. No, it's really cool. You do such a great job. It's cool too, to see, especially with your character, there's a lot kind of happening with the relationships and a lot of kind of ha- happening week by week. What is your favorite thing about about your character's arc, like seeing it week by week when when a new episode drops, if you would have to pick something? Is she has all these like mysterious doors and then you know, every once in a while a new one opens up and you're like, what is she like? But then honestly, you really don't get any answers. Like I don't know, (laughs) it opens and you get a peek and then it closes again. And you're like, excuse me. Um, so I don't know. That's what I I really like about her is she's got a lot underneath, Mm -hmm. you know, right now she's, she's coming off the character that you see right now is, is badass. She knows what she's doing. She, for the most part has things figured out and she's ready to prove herself and step up to the plate when need be. Absolutely. Um, But you know, there, there are little moments that drop here and there that make you really curious about her. And, um, it's quite mysterious. I feel like sometimes she says one thing, but I don't know. There's something underneath it. She's tough to read. Is that basically what you're saying? Because I kind of agree. Yes. But there's a lot of characters on the show that are tough to read sometimes. Even the Carter's character, who's supposed to be like the like the smart guy and everything. Sometimes there's things there where it's just like, what's your game? Like, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a scene too when um, I, I believe Kellett came back and it was her birthday and we were having this conversation as he was putting up like the 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 decoration or whatever. And he made some comments about dating and like, we were even like, what are you trying to get at? Yeah. Are we just friends having a conversation <laughs> or like, what are you, what are you saying? You know, there, oh, there's absolutely. a lot of fun moments like that looks between, you know, either like him and I, you know, with something going on over there or me and like the coffee shop boy and he has a look, you know, it's, oh, it's absolutely. Um, fun to bounce off. Of. You kind of answered this a little bit before, but you know, when you get cast for this and it's established that you're going to be part of FBI international, I mean, people are familiar with the FBI franchise. It's really cool yeah. and everything. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of kind of emotions at play, but is it safe to say that the excitement of the opportunity kind of overcomes like the overwhelming component of it, because there is a lot of pressure that naturally comes with it because people know about FBI and everything. Like, what's that like for you? Like when you, you're cast for this. Well, you know, it's so funny. I never felt the pressure of being part of the franchise because my overwhelming feeling of being new to this industry and having to prove that was more overwhelming than than being part of the franchise, if ah, that makes sense. It does, absolutely. I, I Maybe I don't let it get in the way, um, but I, I just feel like I have to do the best that I can, yeah. and this is our show. And yes, yep. we're all, you know, it's a trio, but we're all special and unique, and we have a different tone and style in our own way. And so um, 
I guess I, I, I just roll with it, you know, it's, Absolutely. No, it's, it's, it's so cool. And, you know, just kind of a general question that maybe you can kind of like link back to FBI international, but like Vanessa Vidal is a storyteller. Like that's what you do basically, you know, whether people act, direct, write, perform music, dance, even like you're all storytellers. What excites you specifically about storytelling? Um, I think it's moments when, you get to tell the story the way you want to tell it, Mm -hmm. your cadence, your opinion Mm -hmm. about it um, from your stance, bringing your own culture or how you were brought up or how your humor is or how you deliver things. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously directors, you know, they give us suggestions or they want a specific moment that they're trying to get Mm -hmm. and, and they'll, they'll reach out and we'll collaborate. But um, there are so many moments where the director just lets you be and they focus on other things. I mean, each director has their own um, things that they want to get out of, out of the episode, right? Yeah. What's the goal? The main goal is to tell the story. So they maybe may not focus so much on sound or whatever, or oh, really yeah. with the acting notes. They may not really come up to you and be like, can you say it this way? All they matter is what story are we telling? And they kind of let you tell it how you want to tell it. And um I think it's beautiful, but you know, it's important to have structure sometimes because I think sometimes if you now don't have another input, it kind of, Oh, I completely agree. Now the turnaround time for this is pretty crazy, right? Like, I mean, like episodes air, but you're still working on it. Right. Is that (laughs) so? I mean, no, 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 no. We're still doing pickups for the pilot. Yeah. No, no, they're aired and we're not filming that episode. But yes, we're 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 on to the next as the one has just come out or we're three ahead or two ahead yeah, or whatever. No, but, but exactly. But my point is it's pretty crazy that <laughs> um, <laughs> No, like <laughs> I'm not sure if my like question now, like after you said that was just like a swerve. <laughs> but, like, uh, um no, but it's like it's so crazy to me where it's not, well, it's not like a movie, but you film like last year and then you're like, oh, it's out now. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's it's my, almost live. Almost. Yeah. That's, that's my point. So when you, <laughs> when you see the like fan theories and like reactions like week to week on social media, it's pretty fresh in terms of like you recently like filmed those episodes. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, that's an interesting yes. dynamic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Um, I only have Instagram, so I, I can't get the reactions. But Carter is our go-to. He's got the Twitter. He's always relaying our, what the audience says, what they think, what they think about the jackets, what they think about Tank, what they think of, you know, of the location. Seriously, they, I mean, our audience is great. They pay attention to the details when they have opinions about anything and everything. And it's wonderful because it's like, oh, people do pay attention. And um, it, I don't know, it, it makes us laugh, you know, because, you know, sometimes it's not all about the case, I guess. Yeah. If it's a, a funny thing about like the jackets that we wear or like something in the background, right? Or, or tank, it, it just makes us smile. You worked a little bit on Lucifer, did you not? I did, yeah. It's interesting because that was kind of a big show and the fandom was unbelievable. And the FBI international fan base is pretty passionate, loyal as well and always have questions. Did you get prepared a little bit by Lucifer with like the fan base of FBI international? Because you were kind of used to like how that type of fan base that are really kind of like on point and don't really miss or skip a beat at, at all. Like I'm yes. curious about, yeah. 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 It's very similar. And <laughs> their fans are crazy. Awesome. I mean, yeah. a lot of them are overseas, like from Brazil, yep. from um, the Philippines, Indonesia. Yep. Um, yeah. Just diehard fans. And um, yeah, it's all love. I know. I mean, you get those few ones in the in the DMs about weird things, but I mean, overall, it's like we're not gonna we're not gonna go into that. It's all love. It's cool stuff. (laughs) 
yeah, still to this day in the comments for FBI, it's like, Remy, is that Remy? <laughs> Remy Angel. <laughs> <laughs> and I was still like, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that show also did a really good job of like how, like the new, like the last episodes that dropped, like, I feel like I heard about that for like three years, like two years. It felt like, I felt like I was always hearing about that final like installment of all those episodes. Like it never went away. But um, no, it's great. No, it's cool that it prepares you a little bit because the FBI International fans are fantastic and it's it's oh. amazing to see. It's so cool. Um, They're from all over. It's amazing. Yeah. It's 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 amazing. I do like I did Instagram lives a lot during the pandemic with a lot of cool guests and we did a thing called the uh, global waterfall, right? Because people are watching from all around the world. So I got uh -huh. people to like say where they're from in the comments and i call it the global waterfall because it's literally like hello from egypt hello from turkey hello from canada like it's like that. it's nuts you know what i mean so next time if you do like an instagram live with a like carter or someone you got to do the global okay. waterfall be like okay check it out you're gonna you're gonna be surprised there's gonna be i'm gonna like, get to carter with that because he's the tech guy and like honestly on the show I'm too <laughs> so simple with my instagram i don't know how to do the reels or crazy things so Absolutely. i'm gonna i'm gonna go to carter vanessa this was a blast <laughs> thank you for coming on pop turd with chat about fbi international this was amazing oh, thank you so much for having me <laughs> so yeah the episodes are airing on cbs they could check that out and uh speaking of your instagram <laughs> what yes. is your handle so people could give you a follow it's vadodo <laughs> bird um it's a, a play on the wrong pronunciation of my last name. So a lot of people say Vidodo, so I just leaned into it. And um, it's Vidodo, but it's a V-I-D-O-D-O-B-U-R-D. -D. We're speaking of Vanessa Vidodo, not Vidodo. But when I do my, <laughs> when I, yeah, because, yeah, like I'm gonna, I feel like you say that and then people do like a sign off or is like, well, you know, we're chatting with, they're probably gonna say Vidodo because you just said that right. on Instagram. But <laughs> no. no, this is great. This has been popular. It's Card actually Vidodo. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Pop Turd of YouTube.com slash Pop Turd for previous episodes. You'll be able to catch Vanessa Vidato in FBI <laughs> International on CBS. Until next time, this is Vanessa and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.